Okay, I love that song. It's one of my favorites. It's 7.40 on a Sunday morning. A little police to start your very rainy day today. If you don't have to leave the house, don't. Stay home and have that grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup or maybe something even a little healthier. It's that time of year when everyone seems to be preoccupied with getting back into shape. And if you're bored with your diet choices, it may be time to try something new. Here to show us is Chef Min Nguyen, owner of the Sporting Club Cafe. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, a lot of us, we kind of get into the same rut and routine. You know, you've been dieting now, if your New Year's resolution was to get back in shape, for almost a month. Um, you know, so many salads you can eat so many you know you just start to get bored and one of the areas I think a lot of us are afraid of I said I'm afraid of is raw food and you were saying you don't have to be afraid no. it's good for you it's healthy and you specialize in it yes so tell me some of the things that you serve up that we can know is is healthy and safe well what one thing that like you said that people have a misconception of um, raw food as being kind of boring just like raw vegetables and and fruits and stuff like that but what we did with the, the raw food and, and it's uh, not just a trend anymore but it's just a way that people eat is uh, we kind of uh, make it more interesting to eat so we combine foods like the best nutrition that in a sense vegetarians can eat uh -huh. um, the vegetables and we make like raw pizzas um, from it where we soak the nuts nothing is ever cooked uh, over really? 115 degrees and we make pizza from it like regular in a sense food that people get out fast food but we'll make it healthy so here I am completely misunderstanding you we're not talking about raw meat do you serve raw meat uh, no no we don't raw meat because no that meat. is what a lot of people yes. you know are worried about when it comes to meat and of course all the mercury scares with sushi and stuff like this we're talking raw vegetables yes. and all of the ways you can make them interesting and delicious mm -hmm. this pizza looks great what are some of the ingredients on here that you incorporated well the cheese we use is, since it's a vegan uh, we don't use any dairy we use a mac cheese we call it mac cheese and we make it out of macadamia nuts we soak it and uh, um, we we just put ingredients in to, to make it a consistency that tastes like cheese and then we spread it on like a this is a, a bread a bread is a flax bread where we actually have to kind of make it and dehydrate it and put from it flax out. seed yes from really? flax seed which is a very nutritious food with high on omega-3 mm -hmm. that people can get um, from certain fats when they are not they don't get it from fish or they don't get it from the vitamin um, E pills that mm -hmm. people take we we take all the regular highly nutritious food and we make it where it's edible and it's delicious and for it's people del and yeah. it's great ideas again all of the raw vegetables on that pizza with flax bread it looks and this looks like the flax bread is more of an accent but you've got a stuffed bell pepper what's yeah, inside it's, of that it's stuffed bell pepper and we we mock the meat which is uh, a, a made from walnuts mm -hmm. and we we also make it a consistency that tastes like actually like beef but it's really actually it's not really? it's, yeah it's, it's it's a walnut meat based kind of uh, uh food and then we just kind of decorate and make it almost like a stuffed peppers that people regularly would eat but yet it's vegan, it's vegetarian, and it's organic, and it's, it's just, you know. And it looks, it looks very good, and I have to say, I'm not a huge meat eater, so <laughs> it, it's, it's, okay, you've got my interest. And what do we have in here? Is this a dessert? Yes, desserts are, like, you know, my favorite thing, <laughs> of, of course. course. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, but it's guiltless, like, uh, when you know you can, you can eat desserts and not feel, you know, um, Guilty, guilty about, about what you're about, eating exactly. mm -hmm. or yeah. bogged down or feel like you just wasted your time at the gym because you're eating something that's going to, you know, undo all of the good that you've done. Exactly, because I got the sporting club after they work out, they come to <laughs> our place and they, don't, they go, oh, desserts, we can't, we just worked out. So what I'm saying is that, okay, you, you got to eat for nutrition. And this is a mango cobbler Ooh. and we make it like, a, again, from raw nuts that are dehydrated and uh, soaked and, and the whole concept to that is just bring out the enzymes so your body can digest it better. And, and the and, flavors and, and the natural flavor. Don't exactly. cover it up with everything. All the natural flavors. Well, thank you so much. The Sporting Club Cafe, yes. inside of the Sporting Club, you're open an hour later in the morning, an hour, uh, an hour. And we close an hour earlier than. And then the gym. But you can get in, yes. get some raw, delicious food and yeah. take home some ideas. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Min, for being here. I sure appreciate it. Thank you. Drive safe today. If you'd like more information, log on to fox6.com. And coming